I want to talk a little bit about tapping into your intuition when making decisions. It's kind of essential and not really optional. And the way I like to think of it is this. You have this internal guidance system. It's not like separate from you. It's part of you. But sometimes it can seem like it's a separate thing because often we get carried away on our emotions and the emotions usually have to do with what we pick up from other people and from our previous experiences. And some people get this all confused and think that their emotions are their intuitions. So like they might think, oh, something bad is going to happen. Then they get worried about it and they sit and they think, oh, I'm being intuitive. Something bad is going to happen. But really it's just kind of these thoughts that they have from like maybe the media or the content they're consuming or you know they feel a feeling because of something else that happened and then they just start getting into this spiral um or they could be intuitive like this is a great idea and maybe that's because like every time they did it before like good things happened and it was wonderful and it really worked out um, but the situation might be different, so they might be thinking they're being intuitive, and they're really not. So tapping into that intuitive space is a skill set. It's not just like a one and done thing. You do one tarot reading, and then you're done with intuition. You're not. Or you just do one session of muscle testing, and then you know everything about intuition because you really don't. It's it's an ongoing process. Um, sometimes people talk about it like connecting with your higher self. Um, but you have to know what that higher self is in order to connect with it. And so the higher self is the future version of you who has the life that you desire. So um, a lot of times people think there's like one higher self, like one future version of you, or they go into this whole thing about like 12D and 8D and 5D and I don't know, but the point is there's like actually multiple future versions of you technically, but you know, we don't always desire all of those futures to the same extent, and some of those futures we don't really want. <laughs> But what happens is sometimes we're misled by our emotions and we don't tap into that gut instinct piece. And then we make decisions. And the biggest thing where I see this for entrepreneurs is in sales because a lot of times people get on the phone call with a salesperson and the salesperson like hypes something up or makes somebody feel a certain way and so then they buy the thing and then they're like "Ooh, what did I just buy um, because there's like this emotional uh, piece to it where the salesperson is getting you into that emotional buying state and they can do this with or without your intuition being on board so um, if your intuition isn't on board and you buy it, you're probably not going to be happy with what you bought. But people can do that. They can manipulate your emotions, but they can't really manipulate your intuition because it's totally separate. And now mindset is a whole nother animal. Mindset is the thoughts that you think that determine the actions that you take. So in order to get into this mindset piece, you have to realize that, you know, a lot of people don't like the mindset piece because it has nothing to do with bodily sensations or like what you're feeling or, and it's actually separate from intuition as well. It's just basically a set of thoughts in your head that determine your actions. So 
depending on your mindset, you might come with up with an idea and say, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to implement that right away. Or you might say, ooh, terrible idea. I'm not going to do that one. And it depends on your mindset. So it actually determines what you do each and every day. So that's where people a lot of times talk about the habits and the mindsets and those kinds of things. So that's just a summary of what I've been going on about for a while. So I'm going to uh, stop this video now. And if you have any questions, just put it in the comments.